Hey everyone, welcome back to another first look. This time we're going to take a look at Polyroll on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the, the vibe that I got from this game was very much like a Sonic game, which I was always a fan of Sonic, so so I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, it's kind of loud. Let me look at the volume. Yeah, that's okay. All right, Polly Roll's house. I guess we'll start there. After I save my friends, I think I'll throw a party. All right, so I guess it's time to leave. <laughs> All right, let's go someplace else. We'll try here. Seafoam Acres 1. Now, I am playing with the SN30 Pro Plus, just in case anybody's wondering. Uh, hold jump while bouncing off enemies to bounce higher. All right, here he comes. Nice. Press the roll button while moving to roll. Oh, wait, what was that? Collect 10 gems to earn one heart. All right, I got a heart. Oh, okay, so on the on the side we have like a little thing that fills up over time. Jump on the flowers to get what's inside. Whoa. Nice. And we only need two more to get another heart. Now, here's the question. Can you get more than three hearts. My guess is probably not. All right, this is, okay, I definitely get Sonic vibes from it, but it doesn't play like Sonic. Um, it's very, very slow. At least it feels very slow to me. What's that say? Hold jump to feather float. Oh, so you kind of drop a little slower. What's this? Oh, okay. So this is the feather float. All right, and there's the answer. I did not get another heart by filling up that container. All right, let's look. Hold roll while standing to rev up. Release to rocket roll. I like that better than in Sonic where you have to, like, spam it to... Uh-oh. Um, spam it in order to, um, to do your dash. Ooh. Can I drop down? Is there, how do I get down there? I want to get down there. Music is pretty good. It's very, uh, ooh, very, oh, sugar. Uh, it's very retro, which I like. I'm a fan of retro. Um, I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, I squandered my chance. Maybe if I do this. There we go. Oh, sugar. I did it again. All right, that's fine. You know what this music reminds me of? This music reminds me of the 80s. Um, like a lot. Sugar, I keep missing. Oh. It's a good thing that you are... Um, in roll form when you bounce. Otherwise, that would have... Uh... Oh, I got invincibility. Oh. Okay, so invincibility doesn't actually hurt them. Um, it just makes you immune. Now, can I hit that guy from below? You can. Press the jump while dropping to drop bombs. Really? Oh. Oh. So there's like power-ups. That's cool. Wait, wait, wait. I think we want to do this. Stage cleared. This feels very much like a Sonic game, but it doesn't play like one. And I like that. Hmm, I'm not sure what I was supposed to do there. All right, we'll do one more, uh, one more level now that I'm done with the tutorial. Let's see, where are we at? We're at four minutes. That's fine. All right, can I just dash through these things? I can. That's good. Oh, but look at that—you bounce off. Okay. 
Oh, look at all these gems. I got hearts for days now. Oh, and invincibility. Let's go, go, go. So this... It, 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 it's very reminiscent of Sonic, but without the speed of Sonic. At least it doesn't it doesn't strike me as a game that you would care if you were going fast. See, just then I should have dropped a bomb below me to blow that guy up. Instead of uh, landing on him like I did. Whoa, back off, dude. You can't have my hearts. I gotta fill those up again. By the way, if you did not know, I've got a podcast called Nintendo Switchcraft, which you can find by heading on over to runjumpstomp.com, and uh, for, um, and you can either listen to it there, or you can listen to it in pretty much any podcast uh, podcasting app. Ooh, I don't think I can get those. I need um, invincibility to get those, so I think if I go this direction, I'll find some invincibility. Oh, look at that. The, the power-up makes me immune to spikes. Like, it's definitely inspired by Sonic, but it, it's definitely, at the same time, its own thing. Which is cool. I like that. Polyroll. It's cool. Um, in addition to Nintendo Switchcraft, I also have another podcast coming out on November 5th called 143 Pixels, and I hope you'll check that out. Roll into enemies while falling to avoid getting hurt. Hang on, so I gotta push X while falling. Ah! Why is it, oh, is it like dark down here or something? No wall jumping. Jump into a wall while rocket rolling to wall ricochet. Oh, I guess there is wall jumping. Hang on. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. Come on. I got to hold the button down, not spam it. Try that again. Ah, nice. Well, that is a pretty damn... That's a pretty damn cool game. Uh, it's very, very chill. Like, extremely chill. Oh, let me see what I can do here. Oh, you're supposed to go a certain distance. Okay. So that's Polyroll on the Nintendo Switch. Let me bring up the... Um, I want to see... Let me put it over here. I want to see what the uh, price of this game is. We'll go to Nintendo.com, and I'm going to search for Poly Roll on the Nintendo Switch. Poly, Poly Roll. All right, here we go. It's coming up now. It is $9.99. You know, if you're looking for something that is inspired by Sonic, I think that this is a good get. I also think that you should check out Sonic Mania, which is an amazing game. Uh, but this is very cool, very relaxing, not super high speed. And I feel like this is something that you would find on the Genesis um, back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. I think that the developer did a pretty good job, and I look forward to playing more of it when I get the chance. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.